Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs chapter 4 verses 7 to 8 from the New Living Translation as well as the Amplified and it reads as follows. Getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do and whatever else you do, develop good judgment. If you prize wisdom, she will make you great. Embrace her and she will honor you. And the Amplified Classic says it like this. The beginning of wisdom is, get wisdom, skillful and godly wisdom. For skillful and godly wisdom is the principal thing. And with all you have gotten, get understanding, discernment, comprehension, and interpretation. Prize wisdom highly and exalt her, and she will exalt and promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. Family, as we've been working through the book of Proverbs, one of the prominent things that keep coming up in the scripture is the discussion of wisdom. And we know that King Solomon is the one who wrote these Proverbs, and he is said to be the wisest man that has ever lived. And if we look at the New Living Translation for the scripture, it starts off with saying, the wisest thing that we can do is to obtain wisdom. So therefore, the wisest person that has ever lived is telling us that the wisest thing that we can do is to obtain wisdom. So family, clearly wisdom is something that is very important. As we've discussed previously, the beginning of wisdom is a fear of the Lord. And what the scripture says there in the Amplified Classic is that the beginning of wisdom is to get wisdom, skillful and godly wisdom. Godly wisdom being the key because as I've just said, the beginning of wisdom comes from a fear of the Lord family. However, we must continue to grow in this wisdom because the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. So as we continue forward, we must grow from from level to level, glory to glory in our wisdom, in the wisdom that the Lord gives us, in the wisdom that we acquire from our life experiences and from our studies and from our time spent in the word of God and so on on and this is a key element it's a crucial element for any christian to obtain the skillful and godly wisdom and it says there for skillful and godly wisdom is the principal thing it's the main thing it's one of the main things that we must seek to achieve because this wisdom will help us to make good godly wise God-guided decisions in life that'll help prevent us making bad decisions that'll end us up in trouble or in financial debt or in the wrong job or married to the wrong person or living in the wrong place or attending the wrong church or, you know, even naming our children the wrong thing. You know, the, the name that, the names that we give our children carry meaning. And when we confess that name over them, it carries meaning. The name Matthew means gift from God. So every time somebody calls me Matthew, they are saying I'm a gift from God. And we saw the same thing with Abraham. When God changed his name from Abram to Abraham, he changed his name to Abraham so that every time he said, hi, I'm Abraham, he was literally confessing over himself, hi, I'm the father of many nations, because that is what the word Abraham meant. And it was through that confession of faith that Abraham became the father of many nations. So family, we must seek this wisdom to lead us and guide us in these important decisions that we make in life. Among our everyday decisions are important life-changing decisions that we need to make. And the moment passes, we've made the decision. And sometimes our destiny is set in stone when we've made that decision, family. Sometimes on a, sometimes in, during the course of our day, we can make life-altering decisions. And if we have that good and godly wisdom, the wisdom that King Solomon is speaking about here in the book of Proverbs, if we have that good and godly wisdom, it'll help us to make the right decisions in those situations. It'll help us to make the decisions that God wants us to make in those situations so that we can go forward with this wisdom, go forward in God's protection, in God's provision, in God's safety and his health and everything that he has for us, family, if we go with the wisdom of God. And it says there, with all you have gotten, get understanding, discernment, comprehension and interpretation. It's all good and well that we have this wisdom, but we need to know how to discern the wisdom, comprehend the the wisdom and understand the wisdom and interpret the wisdom that God has given us. So in other words, it's basically saying we must continue to grow and multiply and extend on the wisdom that we've got because as we unpack the wisdom that the Lord gives us, we can get further understanding of that which he has imparted to us. And it says there, prize wisdom highly and exalt her and she will exalt and promote you. Family, maybe you're looking for a promotion in work. 
What does the scripture say there? It's a promise from the word of God that we can stand on. If we prize wisdom and exalt wisdom and make it a priority to obtain wisdom in our life, we will be promoted. We will be exalted. And it says there in the last sentence, she will bring you honor when you embrace her. So if you want honor, if you want promotion, if you want to be exalted, family, make obtaining good and godly wisdom a priority in your life. And how do we get this wisdom, family? We get this wisdom from studying the word of God, you know, not just reading it like we'd read a book from our favorite author, but literally getting in there and studying it, studying the the genealogy, the chrono chronological order of the Bible, um, you know, who wrote what book, um, the historical background and evident themes in the Bible, all these kinds of things. If we go and study those, we obtain knowledge and wisdom from the word of God and pray every day for God to impart wisdom into you, into your life. And he will do it, family. If we ask him for wisdom, he will give us wisdom. We just have to ask and believe it and receive it. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. Before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your wisdom, Lord, that you impart to us, that leads us and guides us and helps us make decisions that we need to make that are in line with your will for our lives, good and godly decisions. Lord. We pray, Lord, for each and every person listening to this, myself included, Lord, that you will today and every day, Lord, continue to download your wisdom into our minds, Lord, into our spirits, into our souls, Lord, that we can use that wisdom and unpack that wisdom and gain interpretation of that wisdom, Lord, to apply it in our lives, to apply it in our decision-making process, Lord, so that we can go forward having your wisdom to lead us and guide us when we make our important decisions, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit that dwells within us as well, that also helps us leads us and guides us when we make important decisions, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for your wisdom. We thank you, Lord, that we receive it now. We thank you, Lord, that you impart your wisdom to us as well when you spend time in your word, Lord. And we give you, Lord, all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for all that the wisdom that you have imparted to us is doing and accomplishing in our lives and through our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.